girls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl CA and all here. And I'm so, so excited to give you guys this look that I have going on here. I try to do a sunset kind of look. Um, so this is my take on, I literally never wear bright colors on my, on my lids like this. Like I would never do this red, orange, yellow situation that I got going on in this it looks more nudie in person than it does on camera. But yes, so I wanted to give you guys my take on this nice, beautiful spring look. And just wanted to give you guys something different on my channel. I always go for like the smoky eyes or whatever. So I decided to create this look for you guys. Like I'm so excited that I actually went out of my comfort zone. Like I really love it. Like I just love it right now. It's just, it looks really springy. And I'm just so excited for you guys to watch the rest of the video and also I'm going to be recording another video after this of show you guys all my favorites of April. So definitely that will be up pretty soon as well. And thank you very much for subscribing. If you want to know how I got this look, please continue watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Stay beautiful. Bye dolls. I'm gonna begin by putting on this Clinique serum all over my face because it feels amazing. It could almost stand as a primer alone, but I just like to use as much products before I put on makeup. So I'm using my Italia palette using my NYX eyeshadow base to prime with this flat top kabuki bee brush that I randomly got on eBay a long time ago. Now I'm taking a flat brush and I'm gonna pick up this magenta color and I'm gonna put that in the outer third of my lid. And we're using a packing motion just because these colors are kind of a little hard to work with. They're not as pigmented as I would want them to be, but they work for the job. I mean, I barely use neons anyways, so it was nice. Now I'm picking on this orange color in the middle half of my lid. Now again, I'm just packing that on as well. Now I'm gonna pick up this neon yellow color and I'm gonna put that in the inner half of my eye or my lid. You don't want it in your eye, guys. <laughs> Did the same to the other side and now I'm just packing on some more as well. Just make sure everything is nice and pigmented. I'm taking this B32 from Morphe it's a blending brush. I love this brush. It's amazing. So I'm using that, just blending that using the soft brown on my lid or my crease area. And you can never blend too much or pack too much. So we're definitely blending and making, repeating a lot of the steps. It's a very simple look. It's just a little bit repetitive. And again, we're blending, just blending some more. Now I'm using this Jordana um, eyeliner to tight line my, lip, my eye and also create my wing. After doing that, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hill Prim liner in black just to go all over that. And now I'm going to take off these tapes and voila, you have a nice sharp edge and I'm just wiping off any excess fallout. Applying some mascara. That mascara is from Mary Kay. 
Now I'm using my Ardell Wispies. And now I'm priming my face using this primer sample that I got from Sephora. I'm not sure of all the details, but I'll link it down below. But it's really nice. It's my first time using it. It's really nice. Now I'm mixing my foundations. I'm using um, Lancome and my NARS tint and my NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation. I'm putting those all together. And I'm using the blending no blender from real techniques <laughs> and I'm dabbing all over my face until everything is nice and blended out For concealer, I'm using my Creamy Radiant Concealer in Dark 2 from NARS, and I'm going to put that everywhere, not everywhere, I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, you guys know the usual, I cannot speak today guys, this is like my third take on this, so please excuse me, and I'm using my Real Technique Beauty Blender. I'm using the flat side just to get underneath my eye real nicely. And to set that, I'm using this L'Oreal powder in dark, and I'm just going to set everything that I highlighted. And I love this powder. I think you guys see me use it multiple times. It just gives this poreless finish for the underneath the eye. And I'm just using a cosmetics sponge for that. Next, I'm using an oldie but a goodie, and this is my Milani in Earth Glow, and I'm going to use that to set my whole face, just to make sure everything is seamlessly blended together. And I'm using this Luxie 522 highlighter brush and I'm using that to actually contour with this Wet n Wild black eyeshadow which is not pigmented at, make pigmented at all and it blends out really nicely. So this is usually one of my go-to contouring items. Now I'm just reverse contouring that just to get a really nice sharp clean edge on that contour just to clean everything out then I'm gonna go back in with my real technique powder blush brush to get that all nice and blended out I swear I can't talk today guys sorry but everything that I did up top I'm gonna to do in the bottom lash line as well
then I'm just applying my false lease mascara from L'Oreal just to coat those little guys down there they're so tiny and this nice little tiny brush gets them After that, it is highlight time. I'm just gonna highlight my inner corners using the Rebel from the Tarlet palette. And now we gotta highlight those cheeks, yo. Or actually, just kidding. We're gonna put on some blush. Put on some blush right there. I'm using the color orange from my La Femme blush palette. Like my favorite, 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 favorite shade ever is that orange color it just complements the dark skin so nice and lovely and i'm just using that all over the perimeter of my face to just really warm up my skin after that yes girl it's time my favorite part as you guys can see i was a little overexcited for it i'm like girl when are you gonna highlight that face i'm using this fan brush from real techniques and using my Lorac tantalizer as usual this is like my favorite 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 go-to highlighter so we gotta highlight that cupid's bow you know that nose go back to those cheekbones make sure they're glowing to the gods and i've also been like liking highlighting my brow bone which is very unlikely of me so but you know, you gotta glow everywhere, I guess. The glow is real. Now I'm using Frickin' Frack from ColourPop. This is off their um, Satin Finish Lipsticks, which I love. They're not as harsh on the lips and they're not too shiny. They're just like perfect combination. So if you wanna ease your lips from those drying liquid lipsticks, this is a really good alternative. It's like a great formula. And this freaking frack, it, I'm pretty sure on like a lighter person, it would look a bit nudie. And the bottle looks really nude, but on my lips, it looks pink. So I'm just going to line that with a brown pencil. To set my face, I'm using my L'Oreal setting spray. And ladies, that is the finished look. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.